The universe is a strange place, with much of it being a mystery to humans. Unexplainable occurrences happen every single day, whether we notice them or not. And although these events bring fear, they also bring feelings of wonder. We are beings of adventure, beings of play. We are the eyes of our universe. But is what we're seeing always correct? Hello? Yes, this is Carl Higdon. Are you sure you can't make it in today, Jim? You're the only one that can do the job, though. Alright, I'll let them know. Feel better. Goodbye now. Who was on the phone? Oh, it was Jim. You can't make it in work today. My day off, though, so I think, I think I'm gonna go scouting for Alfie. It's cold out. Have you taken your pills today? Not yet. We're out. I think I'm gonna go get some more in town. Can we afford them? I don't know. This recession's really taking a toll on us. Hello? Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? How's Carl? He's gone out scouting for elk for the day. Wish him the best of luck for me. How's his tuberculosis? He's not doing great. It's taking him over most of the day and night. Oh, I'll pray for him. I have to get the house ready for some guests. Thank you now. Goodbye. What's going on over here? My car broke down a few miles back. Oh, I'm just over here scouting for elk. Oh, where are you going? Oh, I'm going over out by Rollins. I know even better place. If you just take this road up a few miles, take a left, that forest area, you'll find a lot of them. Sweet. What the hell, dude? It's Marge. Carl hasn't come home yet today, and I'm worried that his tuberculosis got the better of him. He's a strong man. No, I'm just worried that he's out there all alone. But if he gets hurt or something worse... I'm sure he's fine, but if you need help, I'd call Tim, though. He probably knows where he went. Okay, I'll call Tim. Bye. What? Carl, he went out scouting for elk today and he hasn't come home yet. A guy came around a little bit ago who's wearing a red plaid shirt. I sent him up this way, just take a left, that woods area. He should be around there. Alright, thank you so much. Again? my 
help. It's okay, sweetie, it's okay. The lights. What? Turn, turn off the lights. Did you hear the man? What happened, sweetie? What happened? I'll, I'll tell you everything. The bullet, it stopped 50 feet in front of me and it fell to the ground. There was no sound. I was taken to the ship and to the world. No one would have believed in the last years of the 19th century that this world was being watched keenly and closely by intelligences greater than man's, and yet as mortal as his own, that as men busied themselves about their various concerns, they were scrutinized and studied, perhaps almost as narrowly as a man with a microscope might scrutinize the transient creatures that swarm and multiply in a drop of water. The War of the Worlds. All right, so you're at the beach and you see the sand dollar. What happens next? I look up and I see a light. The lights come from above the horizon. And what next? I look away. I don't know. Are you sure? Dig deeper. I guess. Well, the lights get closer and I feel... Maybe you feel paralyzed? Yes! That's exactly how I feel. And suddenly, I feel cold, because... You were on the ship. Yeah. And I... And they... The aliens, right? Yeah. So, how exactly do these victims feel about their extraterrestrial abductors? Everybody's different, John. You're a psychologist, you should know that. Some are, of course, terrified. I mean, who wouldn't be? But then you have your Patty Hearst, if you will. These are the ones awestruck by the technology. Enamored by the efficiency. They truly do believe that aliens are the highest life form. And these Patty Hearsts, as you call them, are they common? Well, I don't know about that, but I will say that there's no precedent in any of your fancy books for an alien abduction. And I don't need a day of psych school to tell me that it can really change the way you think. You see, the aliens will submerge the memories in the subconscious. But they can't get rid of everything. That's why people are left with strange new phobias or vividly recurring dreams. Think about the mother's job. Imagine losing a baby that you never had. Wait, I don't know if I really understand. Tell me more about these mother. Listen, John, these aliens are downright demonic. They will inseminate a victim during their first abduction, and their human-alien hybrid will incubate for, well, God knows how long. Before that baby is even big enough to be noticed, they can take it out and raise it from there. Dear God, that's horrible. I can only imagine the effect that would have on the psyche. I know. Now listen, here's the thing. If we can come up with a statistic on the abductions, we can start to figure out how to help the abductees. We need to know just how many people have been or currently are subjects. But how do we know who's a subject if they can just submerge their memories? Anytime you look at the clock and realize just two hours have gone by much faster than they should have, that could have been an abduction. We need a poll to cross-check that with the other symptoms, like with the phobias and the dreams. This is important work. I think I know someone who can help us with this. Thank you, thank great you. job today. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Great job. Thank you. Great sharing today. Great job today. Drive safe. Um, before I go, I wanted to ask about all the backlash that you've been getting recently. Well, you know, I mean, there are people saying things, but I just want you to know that I do my best, and I truly want to help you, and I want to help all these people with the trauma that they barely even know about. And I want you to know I would never take somebody in such a vulnerable state and convince them of something I didn't even believe in. And final thing, I promise. I just want you to know that I take it as my duty to help each and every one of you. Okay, thank you. We really appreciate it. Have a great day. With infinite complacency, men went to and fro over this globe about their little affairs, serene in their assurance of their empire over matter. It is possible that the infusoria under the microscope do the same.
Need any help with the dishes, honey? I can help, Mom. No thanks, I've got it. What is that? What happened, Mom? Did the power go out? What are you saying right now? There's a large glass door ahead of me. Can you go inside? Tell me what you see. No, I can't take you there. Why not? Did they tell you not to say? Yes, I can't take you past here. Okay. I want you to go into the room. You don't have to tell me what you see. But I want you to ask yourself, why am I here? What is the point of this experience? I want you to go in and see the one. Remember this question? Oh, oh no, I can't. It's so amazing. I can't describe it. Oh, it's so beautiful. I want you to focus, okay? What did the one say to you? It's so wonderful. He loves the world so very much. So many reject him. If we all had faith in him, he'd welcome us with open arms. Everything is one. Everything fits together. It all connects. It's all so beautiful. You may wake up now. Again? They must be following us. What do they want with us? Isn't the constant hypnosis and interviews enough? Do they really have to monitor us 24 7? This is exhausting. I'm scared, Bob. We should have never responded to that newspaper article. No, I want to get my story out there. This is scary, but I'm sure it'll pass. Please recall what you saw that night, the night of your abduction. They did some kind of experiments on me. I didn't fully understand. I don't think they wanted me to. Do you know what they wanted? No, not completely. But I know that their message is important. And everyone needs to hear it. Okay, we're done now. You may leave. Thank you. Hello? Hello. Is this Betty Andreessen? Yes, it is. 
We wanted to inform you that our investigation has reached a conclusion. We believe you and your family are healthy and sane individuals. Thank you for your cooperation. Thank you so much. What did they say? The investigation's over. They believe our stories, I think. It's over, Bob. Our lives are mysterious things. There are many occurrences that cannot be explained under normal circumstances. But are these events a product of the human mind, or are they truly an anomaly of this amazing universe we are privileged to live in? Though our lives may be difficult and confusing, we may all be connected through these dreams of the unknown.